There are so many fantastic 98 tennis rackets out there and I have tested a lot of them. Today I wanted to give you a comprehensive overview of all 98 tennis rackets I have tested so far. Let's start with Yonex. The Vico 98 is truly becoming more and more popular over the years. The Vico 98 is now even played on the Pro Tour with players like Tommy Paul. This is a fantastic racket for spin and control. It is easy to play with and very arm friendly. In my playtest, especially the one where I used my Lynx Tour, you really get a whole package of the racket. The only two things I really did not like about the racket are 1. It is pretty unstable especially on my backhand and the serve. 2. It is a bit too muted for my taste. Vibration dampening mesh is working a little too good here, in my opinion. But other than that, it is a fantastic racket for all court players who like to play with a lot of spin and get easy power as well as good control. The ESO 98 is probably the most popular racket of Yonex and I can understand why a lot of people like it. This racket is the definition of a player's racket. It is good at everything but not outstanding in one category. You get ok spin, the power is good, ok control and forgiveness. It is also pretty easy to use. Here we have the same problem as with the Vico 98. The racket is a little bit too muted with VDM. It makes the racket pretty unfriendly, which is a good thing, but the feeling sensation is a bit off. That is why I like the Percept 97 more. The feel has way improved to pretty much all of Yonex rackets, stability is not an issue and you still have an unfriendly racket. Again, if you prefer the plusher feel of Yonex rackets, the Eason is absolutely a wonderful racket to play with. Now, Head had never a problem with two muted rackets and that is definitely true for the Extreme Tour. This yellow green racket is made for spin and control. The racket is shaped a little aerodynamic and the big string grommets allow for a lot of string movement and snapback. This gives this racket the edge to almost every other racket we will discuss here. There's only one more racket from a big brand which has more spin potential. I will talk about this one later in the video. The Tour also shines with control and the racket's balance allows you to swing it fast. Also a big problem and the reason I am not using it is the stability issues. Especially on the flat surf this racket was the biggest pain for me. Not only did this racket feel unstable but also the accuracy was extremely lacking. You can add some lead to counter that but really not my racket for serving. On the ground strokes it was probably one of the best 98s I have tested. Maybe the Oxetic 2.0 can maybe improve stability and the feel on the surf. Let's continue with the people's racket. By the way, fantastic marketing by head. But is it true? The Relic LMP is very similar to the Ethon. It is good at everything but not really exceptional in one. This racket have a bit of an identity crisis if you ask me. Still, the Radical is better than the Eason in so many ways. The Radical has better feel, is way more stable and is therefore more solid. I did not experience any issues with the Radical MP and it is a fantastic tennis racket for an all court game. The Radical Pro is the heavier and more controlled version of the MP. Of course, this racket is even more stable and is probably the most stable racket in this video. If you're an advanced player and can handle the heftiness, it is a fantastic control racket. For me the surf is the biggest plus here when going up in weight. My latest video was about the comparison between the two coming rackets. So I will make this pretty short. The Pure Drive 98 is stiff, head heavy and control oriented. I really think that this racket plays pretty good in most ways, but I'm not sure if I can recommend this racket to anyone. This version of a Pure Drive is so stiff that every one of you who has a small problems with arms, shoulders or elbows can increase that with this racket. So if you decide to use it, do not go up too high in tension or use a soft multi-string. 
Now, let's talk about the Aero 98. The Aero 98 was released at the beginning of the 2023 and is probably the most hyped racket of the last 15 years. And here is my unpopular opinion. This racket is good, but I do not understand that hype. Here are the good things. The Bowlard Pure Aero 98 has fantastic spin potential. Of course, it is an Aero. Aerodynamic design and the balance allows you to swing it fast and also allows for a lot of spring movement to create spin. The Aero's shock absorption is better than I have seen in most tennis rackets, especially compared to other Bowlard or Yonex racket, which makes this racket pretty unfriendly in my opinion. The control you get from this racket is good because you automatically play with more spin than you would normally do with similar rackets. And that is what allows the ball to stay inside the court. Now, the bad stuff. The balance is a bit off for me. The surf and backhand feels a bit weird. It felt like I had a little boy's racket in my hand. The second, the racket is not stable enough, at least for my game. You can add some weight to really solve those problems and then I really would rate this racket way better. But in stock form, it is not my racket. Now, let's talk about a smaller brand and rackets I really like. But do not worry, we end this video with a probably the biggest brand in tennis. Now, let's talk about the Dynam Elevate racket. The Tour is the heavier 315 gram version. It is pretty stiff and has a high 16x20 string pattern. This racket is perfect for classic control. My surf with this racket is my most lethal weapon. I really like this racket when being aggressive and using also the slice to my advantage. It is of course an advanced player's racket but something to check out. Low tension is key with this racket. I do not go above 23 kilograms with Lynx Tour. I unfortunately started to feel my wrist pretty fast when I picked up this racket, which is a shame. I would have switched to it probably if it would be a little less stiff. Now, the regular 305 gram version is a bit softer and more user friendly in my opinion. Unfortunately, it is a bit unstable, especially during defense, the racket did shake a bit. But other than that, you get a fantastic feel and control. You can generate good spin, but the launch is pretty low, so keep that in mind. For me, fantastic rackets from the ILM. We end this video with the Blade 98, probably the most popular racket on the planet right now. I have only tested the 619 version, so I only can speak on that. First things first, the Blade 98 is the most stable 98 with 305 grams that I have ever played with. The control you have with this racket is top notch and the balance, at least for my game, was on point. Spin is fine, nothing too crazy, of course the launch angle is a bit lower than the rest of the pack. Power potential is also not that high, which is fine as it is more a control oriented racket. So what bothered me and why I have not switched to this racket is the feel is way too muted. Normally play with a dampener and this was the first racket ever where I could not play with one. I did not get any feedback and did not know where I hit the ball. Without a dampener it was fine. The feel was still a bit off for me and too mushy almost. The second thing was the sweet spot. It is very small for a 98. At least for me playing on clay most of the time and having a lot of bad bounces it bothered me a little. Even Percept 97 felt like it had a bigger sweet spot. But if you hit it clean, play more flat and aggressive, you could really like this racket. That are all 98s I have played with so far. I would really appreciate if you like this video and if you want to watch more, check out this video next.